Hi, I'm Iskander. Actually, I'm not Iskander. Hold on, am I Iskander? I'm not sure that's quite a philosophical question. Iskander is, I mean, I am the managing director and general manager at Samsung Next Europe, where I am also the global head of media tech for Samsung Next Ventures. And I am pleased to present the first synthetic media landscape. But why did I wonder whether I'm Iskander or not? That's because the presenter of this video here is actually a digital twin of mine, a virtual avatar. I haven't recorded this video. I just wrote the text script and provided the slides. The product of a startup from our synthetic media landscape, Synthesia, generated this video with my avatar speaking automatically from that text script and the slides. That's also why my voice is actually not my real voice. Before we begin, what actually is synthetic media? In simple terms, synthetic media is AI-generated or AI-modified media. Let me repeat that. Synthetic media is AI-generated or AI-modified media, and it heralds the start of the third evolutionary stage of media. The first stage was old media. Old media enabled mass distribution for a select few publishers through TV, radio, and print. The enabling technology for this stage was broadcasting. We then entered the second and the present stage of media, new media. New media enabled democratized distribution for everyone through social media. The enabling technology is the internet. We are now entering the third evolutionary stage of media, driven by synthetic media. It will democratize media creation and creativity for everyone. The enabling technology, AI, Synthetic media will lead to a significant drop in barriers and costs to create top-notch content. Everyone will be able to create content in a quality that previously would have only been possible with big budgets. We'll see a proliferation of high-quality content. However, we'll also face challenges caused by the misuse of synthetic media, centered around the verification and truth of content, which leads us to ethics and challenges. First of all, we believe that synthetic media is positive. It empowers human creativity. But we also recognize that new technologies like synthetic media run the risk of being misused. Which is why we are open to joining the conversation on how the industry defines its ethical standards and encourage all startups working in the field to do the same. But now let's go back to why we are so excited about the potential of synthetic media. Synthetic media will disrupt many industries and use cases. I want to give you a few fictional but tangible examples that we believe will soon turn into real-world use cases. You could call them Samsung Next Visions for the future. Example 1. Top-notch movies for everyone. Individuals will be able to produce high-quality video movies at their desks that would have only previously been possible with access to big budgets. You need great actors for your movie or commercial. Just select virtual actors that look and act like humans from a catalog and Customize them to your needs. Example 2, and one that I love. Have you ever recorded a video or a podcast and then realized in the post-production that what you said was not ideal? What do you have to do in the old and current world? You need to record that part again, which is a huge pain, right? Synthetic media will provide the solution, and I'm really looking forward to it. The ability to post-edit videos and audio files. Creators will be able to make changes to a spoken dialogue in a video or podcast by just editing a text script after the media asset was recorded. No more, oh no, we need to record or shoot this scene again. Example 3. Digital twins for artists. Celebrities, artists, influencers, and experts will be able to scale their activities, with digital twins representing them at any time without any limits. Their digital twins can be everywhere that they aren't, from making movies, hosting concerts, to recording voiceovers in commercials. The results for individuals with strong personal brands. Less fatigue, more gigs, and more money. Example 4. Individualized fashion models. Clothing brands will be able to offer the ultimate online shopping experience by giving their customers the chance to see themselves and their bodies in the clothing advertised in social media stories and on shopping sites. Consumers will be able to try on whole outfits before adding them to their shopping carts. Example 5. Synthetic product placements. Consumers will watch movies, sports and play games, and will see individualized, synthetic product placements tailored to their tastes and needs. For example, Emily plays a game 
and sees a character wearing a Nike sneaker. Her friend David plays the same game and sees the same character wearing an Adidas sneaker because David is more of an Adidas guy. Last example, and one that is already in use today. Virtual avatars will become an integral part of our day-to-day -day life. We'll interact with them in various situations. They will help us in retail stores when there is no human customer service agent available. They will take our orders at fast food chains. They will instantly help us online when we have a question about a product. Some will look like comic characters, will look and act like real humans, and some won't even be embodied. They will come in all shapes and sizes. Thinking a bit longer term, we will interact with intelligent virtual characters in immersive virtual worlds and games, throughout our daily lives, through audio and augmented reality. We will play with them, confide and trust in them with things we might not want to share with real humans. We'll learn from them, be entertained by them. Some could even be representations of friends, family, or notable people that are no longer with us. And a last example, anonymization. We're caught on camera on an almost hourly basis. Online, our social media accounts are automatically able to register and identify our faces with the help of computer vision. As a result, our identities are becoming more transparent every day. With the help of synthetic media, we'll be able to swap our faces and bodies on actual videos and images with synthetically altered versions of us. The effect will still look the same for the human eye, but machines won't be able to identify us as the synthetic media tools will alter all relevant digital fingerprints. The future is now. Many synthetic media startups already work on solutions that will turn these visions into reality. In the last months, the Samsung Next Media Tech team worked on the first synthetic media landscape that we're launching today. The landscape covers mainly startups from the US and Europe and some examples from Asia across segments like speech and voice synthesis, music and sound synthesis, image and video synthesis, game content, avatar and mixed reality synthesis, natural language generation and consumer protection. In our landscape deck, you'll also find one slide company profiles for a lot of the startups in our landscape. If you have questions about synthetic media, would like to feature your startup in our landscape deck or you're looking for an investment, reach out to our Samsung Next Media Tech team. We have team members in New York, in Berlin, in Tel Aviv, and in Seoul. You'll find our team members' names and contact details in our landscape deck. The future is now, my friends. Start to discover the opportunities of synthetic media. Let us work towards a bright future. By mitigating the risks of misusing the technology, and by leveraging the technology to help every human being to express their creativity on an entirely new level. And now, go to syntheticmedialandscape.com and download our landscape deck. Cheers.